Alright, hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Deathmatch, and today I'm going to teach you how to make this. Alright, so first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and create the stereo system. Alright, now that I have the stereo system all built, we're going to want to go ahead and group the parts. And then we're going to name the button, button, right here. And then we're going to go ahead and group these. And we will name this main. Alright, and next you're going to want to name the model radio. Alright, now once we've named everything, we're going to want to go ahead and insert the following. A click detector into the button, a script into the button, and a bool value into the button. And we're going to name the value radio is on. Next, you're going to want to go into the script and insert the following script. I'm going to have it linked in the description labeled as the radio button script. All right, now we're gonna go to starter GUI, insert a screen GUI, and that we're going to call that radio UI. Now in radio UI, we're going to want to add a bool value, a uh, image button, and we're going to go ahead and insert a frame. Now we're going to name it the value in use frame is radio user interface and then the button is going to be radio toggle the radio user interface is going to be the piece that the player manages their radio in so I encourage you to go ahead and customize that I will be right back now inside the radio user interface we're going to want to add several objects one being a a text label and then we'll go ahead and duplicate that text label we're going to add a image uh, text button pardon me a text box and a bool value now let's name the objects that we just added so we'll start with a text label we're going to call one of them an error and then the other one will be named the title The text button will be called play, pause, and then the text box will be sound ID. And lastly, we'll call the bool value is play. Alright, now once you have all these named, I encourage you to go ahead and customize it to the way you would like it. Next, in the play, pause button, you're going to want to add a sound and we're going to add a local script name the sound radio sounds and then go ahead into the local script again i will have this in the description below now that you're done with the play pause script you can go back to the workspace and we can go ahead and find the radio toggle now i do suggest you customize this if you would like Alright, I have customized my radio toggle button. Now I'm going to go ahead and insert a local script into that button. Again, I will have the script in the description. Now that you're done with the radio toggle script, we're actually going to go over to our workspace 
and move the radio user interface down to uh, 1.05 on the y-axis, just so it's out of the way and hidden. Now we have actually finished the build, so I'm going to jump in, quick play, and we're going to test it out. Alright, and we're going to test out the on-off feature first, so I'm going to click the radio, that comes up, and we'll go ahead and try to play it. So we cannot play music when the radio is not on. So let's go ahead and turn the radio on. There we go, it looks like it's on. And there we go. As we walk away, you can tell it's playing from there. You can go ahead, toggle the radio shut, and it continues to play. Now we can go ahead and stop it. There we go. And I don't quite, I can't quite figure out what the problem is with the button not changing colors. That seems to be a glitch on either my scripts or Roblox case. I can't quite figure that out yet. But I do hope you did enjoy this video. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new here. I know you should be. And let me know in the comments below what else you would like to know. Anyways, have a great day.